Hello, Jeff Patterson, Eric Nelson. Again, we're back at looking at some of our basic curriculum, talking about some details, hopefully to help you guys improve on the basics and get you ready uh, moving forward to that next phase of training. So this video, we're going to look at cross body escapes. We're gonna talk about some details in our basic elbow escape, but we're gonna look at a lot of details that aren't so basic. So pay attention, try to adapt some of these in your paths. So the first thing we're going to do is just talk about our basic crossbody controls from the bottom. So a lot of times he gets on top, he's in that crossbody position. If I'm just laying here on my back, I'm just kind of waiting for him to attack. I want to start almost attacking from this position. So I want to think about, uh, can you get up for a second? Sure. In uh, jujitsu, we, we like to break our body down into four quadrants. So we divide at the waist, we divide at the center. And when I talk about like my lower quadrant here, it's my hip, my thigh, my knee, my calf, my foot. I've got my quadrant here. I've got the quadrant up here and down the arm. It's not just this arm. It's my rib cage, it's my shoulder, it's my lat, it's the back of my shoulder, my bicep, my tricep, my elbow, my forearm, and my hand. So I've got all four of these quadrants that always need to be actively engaged. And especially when I'm defending, if I've got any one of them falling asleep, I'm possibly giving them a place to attack or, or an extra leverage point, which makes it easier for him to control me. So when we're on the bottom, the first control point is this arm here. And if we spin this way a little bit, this arm, I never want to be in like this because if I'm in like this, go very slowly, if he turns his hips and drops them down, it's very easy for me to injure my elbow here. And it's a tight control, and then my arm's kind of stuck in that position, and I can't get it out. So I like to put the bone of my, my elbow on this, this upper part of my arm and use that as, as a frame right inside the hip pocket here. Now if he were to sit out, I can slide that arm out and my arm is safe and I can still kind of control his body a little bit with this quadrant. Come back please. That's our first control. Our second control, my preferred position with this arm is in the armpit. I'll spin this way a little bit. Now with this hand here, I can pull the arm and I can push the arm. So I can use this to attack this arm over here. With this leg here, if this arm is in my hip, the pressure of this leg is going to be starting to attack the arm. If he gives me room, I'll start putting pressure on his thigh, femur to femur, and start attacking the leg here with this one. This foot here has to be pressured in, and I want to walk it out a little bit, so now it's at an angle. If I'm like this, let me roll up on my side. If my foot is here and he pushes my back down, it's pretty easy for him to flatten me out. But if I'm like this and I put this foot out and he pushes, I've got good power here. So it's easier for me to maintain that structure and get on my side because on my bottom, on, when I'm on the bottom position, I don't want to be flat on my back. I want to try to be up on my side using all four of these quadrants looking to attack to look for the pass. So when he's on top, I get all four of my quadrants engaged. And now the first pass that we're going to look at is, let's spin this way, please. All right, so the first pass that we're going to do here is how do I get past this far side arm? So there's a couple ways, actually, let's go back just a quarter turn. So when I'm trying to attack this arm, I can move my hips out and get in front of the arm, but one that I like a little better and I use a lot is I'll attack the elbow with the hand and I'll attack the wrist with the leg. Now I collapse the arm. Once I collapse the arm, I bring this knee inside. And oftentimes, I don't want to have to bring my knee all the way back here to get it inside. If his leg is down like this, sit down on your, on your heels for a second. It's a lot harder, back, just sit up for a second. It's a lot harder for me to get the knee here than it is to come over the top and drop it in here, and now I can also use this hook. So I've got good control with this leg. My, my, my knee is on the inside of the thigh. So when we're doing this pass, I pass this arm, I swim that leg over. Now 
I'm going to push that thigh out a little bit. This leg can come up and bite the hip, or it can just slide down and trap that leg. Come through, walk up, and recover my guard position, looking for my attacks. All right, let's do it again. I get all four of my controls. I start attacking that arm, swim over the leg, get my hook in, push the leg out, bite the leg, move my body away so I've got room to pull this leg through. Come in, look for my grips. One more time. Let's do from this angle here. So, basic escape from crossbody, but there's a lot of advanced details. And even after many years of being on the mat, this pass is something that you're always going to use. You're, you're not going to get to more advanced techniques that are going to make passing the crossbody easier. This is kind of like a bread and butter escape that you really want to master and work on getting those 20, 30, 40,000 reps in. So, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.